Okay, so we're going to UV now, and uh, before we do that, we're going to split our screen. So go to display, and then viewport layout, and you can either use a horizontal split or vertical split. Uh, I'll look at the vertical, so that's where I'll go. Okay, so that gives us a UV view, UV 2D view on this side, and our normal 3D view on this side. And with all my pieces selected now, I'm just going to go to modify and merge to get one and then UV materials recreate UVs by XYZ just to give us a starting point uh, to work from okay now what we need to do is define seams uh, so the UV seam is going to split our model up and help our um, UV layout to be as flat and as distortion free as possible um, so that we can texture so first of all I'm going to edge mode and then I'll double click on an edge around the side and what I want to do is then define it. So it's mark, sorry, UV material editor, mark UV seam. And if I click on that you should see it goes blue. So now if I go to UV materials and unwrap, it unwraps everything um, to varying sizes. Uh, so I'm just going to hit escape and then one of these pieces down here uh, can I use control F? Yes. Will be our front and back. So if I move that just to the side a little bit, whoops, I want the whole thing not the other thing. I've managed to change my viewport. Let me just change that back again. Uh, da, 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 viewport camera 2D view. There we go. Uh, I'm going to hit escape there let's move that over so that's our front and that's our back and that's kind of okay but we need to adjust that so first of all I want to split the screen out and we'll do that by marking some edges inside okay so back to selection gonna double click on the side of the screen and the other side of the screen it's not going to go right round uh, but then I'm going to mark those as seams and then zoom in to the top Oops, zoom out, zoom in and then just grab the very top piece and that's not it, I need to get a bit closer that's it and then I'll mark that as a UV seam and then I'll zoom down to the bottom and select the very bottom one on this piece I can get close enough to it. Oh, crumbs! There we go. No, that's not it. Let's go Control R, uh, Control F. No, that is it. No, it isn't. It's that one. Uh, so then, it's UV materials mark. So that's got a blue line all around the outside of our screen now, and we can go to UV materials unwrap. Now, if you escape to drop the tool, I'm going to double click on this, and this is then the a kind of rim around the outside. Uh, this bit's our camera up here, and this bit's our button. We'll do those in a moment or two. So, what I want to do for these bits is cut the corners off. So, I'm going to use the UV view to uh, select this. So, I'm just going to double click in that corner there. And mark that as a seam. UV materials mark seam. The same on this corner. Double click. UV materials and mark seam. And then in this corner, do the same. UV materials mark as seam. And then one last corner. UV materials mark seam. And then with nothing selected, I'm going to unwrap. Now that may not appear to have done anything much. That's because it's just not moving things around for us. If I double click on this, you'll see it's separate. And it's more or less straight, uh, even if it's at an angle. Uh, so that looks like it's done the job for us. Okay, so those bits are all done. I'm going to just select those and hide them. 
Actually, I'm going to look at my button because I don't think I'm going to touch that. No, I am. Uh, okay. So with those selected, display and hide selection. Uh, then on this piece, let's do a control F to zoom in. I'm going to just double click on these corners. And mark those as seams. So UV materials mark UV seams, then select off and unwrap. And you'll see that that at least you know starts to do the job. It's not doing a very good job. So what I'm going to do is select the two short edges at the end. And mark those as seams and then click off and unwrap and now it should have split those off now I can actually move those around and perhaps sew them back so that uh, we don't get that horrible uh, twist and um, rotation and overlap Okay, so our final piece should be the camera. So, first of all, let's uh, zoom in a little bit. And then I want to slice off the face and UV seam uh, mark. I can slice off the lens. So UV materials mark seam. And then just one front to back on there and UV seams and mark seams. And then we should be able to unwrap again. And wherever that is on the UV view, it's there somewhere. There it is. It should all be nicely unwrapped. See this nice long straight? That's the uh, kind of rim. And then we've got our front facing uh, circular pieces. OK, so in the next one, we'll start to bring all these maps together and we're going to put them onto uh, you know, a single UV tile and scale them so that it uh, all looks good. So I'll talk to you then.